Cry of Fear, which according to the internet means Fear of God, is my favorite game, if it wasn't obvious already, aside from Honey Pop, created by the same rejected Drain Gang member that made Afraid of Imposters with a questionable connection between the two. We play as Simon, Sweden's strongest man. His hobbies include school shootings, heroin, and clinical depression. The game trades Afraid of Monsters run and gun type levels like your me playing as Dante on Gunslinger style and non stop control of the player character. Jesse Pinkman, with a heavy atmosphere, unique ammo management mechanic, and a plot that would be the top post of all time on I Am 14 and this is the in the game you take a nice relaxing walk in Stockholm Syndrome and get hit by a Toyota after helping someone who sounds like they've been a chain smoker before they were even born. Now we are in Silent Hill, sorry, I mean the aftermath of a blady concert where all the homeless people with hammers, tentacle hentai monsters, and overly patriotic Bulgarians Who? Me? Roam the streets for the next 24 hours. It's up to us to get home before 10pm or mommy won't buy you your McDonald's filet fish We fight IKEA beds and avoid your ex-wife because she tries to get your alimony money. Along with your friends, Bold Martin, after his last to survive Chernobyl, wins 10,000 rubles and a woman. To do this, we will need to find a balance between being an average UK citizen and an average USA citizen as we slowly give in to our mental insanity and schizophrenia. If you like the sound of that, then join me as I try to summarize Far of Christ 7 Biohazard Revengeance. So, you start the game with a launcher, and uh, if you hover over, they will make noises louder than I show speed screams of damnation, and afterwards a warning telling you you might get crippling depression while playing this game. Hey, they should have one of these for Dead by Daylight. And if you touch anything in the next 20 seconds, Cry of Fear will crash. After that, you're taken to the main menu and you can finally play the game, which opens up with an r slash depression post. After that, we see Simon is stuck in a subway train with Kale the Jedi. I don't know if I should fling myself out of this window next to me or him. Then Simon is walking around when suddenly a man crawls to Simon. Hey, do you have any change? I need to buy Raiden. What do you mean? You mean to buy Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? What? No. I need to buy Raiden and Genshin Impact. Meanwhile, in the distance, a Tesla self-driving car learns that Simon listened to Dream's song and proceeds to run him over. After some edgy quotes and a screaming head, Simon wakes up in an alleyway and, just like every British person, immediately draws his switchblade. While wandering around, ready to shank the first person he sees, he comes across a couple of papers giving him access to a PC. Oh my god, why the fuck is your wallpaper a picture of me and David? After getting a code to the padlock, he notices someone who looks like a Cry of Fear fan when they see someone in a wheelchair in real life. Some more wandering around later, we run into the first enemy of the game. These guys attack quick and can run fast as hell. The first hit you land on them will stun them for a while, so use that to run off or passionately stab them to death. Yeah, now I understand why the British do this. This is amazing! Huh? My phone is ringing. Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowl. God damn it, Roman! I just went bowling with you an hour ago. I don't yet be you. God damn! When will that guy leave me alone? Wait, what's that over there? Is that the uh, uh, lean?
Going deeper, we run into more of these fuckers that we just punch in the face like a Sigma male and go our merry way. After Simon finds his way out, he gets a text from a Discord kitten and goes to her place. Hey kitten, I'm here! Oh what the fuck, is that you? Okay, I know I said I like my women young, but uh, this is a bit too far. I think we need to break up. Oh, who the fuck did this? Now Simon needs to escape the apartments before the FBI comes to the apartment with an arrest warrant. The apartment is littered with pieces of paper of a fellow Discord moderator's diary. We even find his gamer dungeon along with a stash of... rotisserie chicken pictures. I can't even read this shit. This dude's got the handwriting of a baby with a rod in his throat. Eventually you get a gun. Ah yes, now I can flex my second amendment rights on homeless children, much like in real life. A bit of wandering around, we find a videotape of Morks killing Big Jill and get a code to the elevator. After what feels like centuries walking down flights of stairs that are giving me and my mouse a brain hemorrhage, we go into a big door. Lads, I'd like to introduce to you the first boss of the game, the bastard child of Pinhead and Leatherface. This boss is very easy, and his pathfinding can be broken by just circling around him, and, we'll, and he won't be able to do a thing. If you don't believe me, there's an entire video of me punching this guy to death on Nightmare Mode. He gets so salty that you use sweaty Dark Souls tactics on him that he kills himself. Man, all the spinning around has made me dizzy. Oh god. Oh. No, 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 no. Get out of my head! Ugh, I'm not looking at myself up on Tumblr anymore. You have a Tumblr account. What are you, the Nemo fuckboy? Who the hell are you? Who I am? Oh, uh, excuse me for this second. Uh, what, what are you doing? Wait, can we postpone this conversation? My Genshin Impact daily quest, just to refresh. Am I the only one in this city that doesn't play Genshin Impact? Yeah, you are, weirdo. I can't be around your Genshin Impact is aura right now. Then I won't be able to get Mona. Who? Mona is a Hydro character. Cares. Oh, I've had it with you. <laughs> oh. Afterwards, we finally touch some grass and call a good friend. Doctor! Turn off my depression inhibitors! What the fuck? How did you get my number? Oh, whoops, wrong doctor. Doctor! Turn off my depression inhibitors! But Simon, you'll lose mental stability! Do it! <laughs> oh, and by the way, can you open the door? Yeah, sure. While you're talking, can I borrow some money for a gotcha game? I'm hey guys, it's me, Eric Doctor, and today we're being chased by MP4 files, and me after I see another fucking comment saying I sound like Simon. Then we break into a construction zone and... Remove the witnesses. But not before I bash my head against this keypad until it unlocks the door. Ah, so that's what happened to Filthy Frank. All I want is red and gold. Hey! What the fuck are you doing? I've had it with you. Get him, Mr. Key. Mr. Key? Oh, I get it now. Welcome to the shortest boss fight in gaming history. All you do is turn a valve and get on top of the breaker. After murdering Mr. Key, Simon has a mental breakdown and gets attacked by Yoshikage Kira's fantasy and then some tentacle hentai. Man, I sure do love walking through this hallway. Hopefully I won't get chased by your average theater enthusiast. Now, I'd like to pose a question for the people at home watching this. How do you get the M16 behind him? The people with the IQ of a room temperature would say you juke Sawrunner, go through the door you came in from, and then he will disappear so you can get the gun. The masses would say you don't get the gun in the first place and just run away. And the high IQ Giga Chads would say you juke him, whack him, grab the M16, run away while he is stunned. Oof. Glad I lost him.
Hopefully he won't be a reoccurring threat. A few minutes later we get a op that we use to kill floating IKEA beds, seeking vengeance because they weren't bought after the store shut down. Alright, this part is pretty important to the plot. Oh, I'm getting a call. Is this Among Us? Imposter? Is this the imposter from Among Us? Ah, sounds about right. Shortly after, we commit grave robbing until we find a key into a woman's house. But I guess she saw me breaking in, so she jumped out of her window to get away from me. Get onto the rooftops and find... Wait, Sophie? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hi, Mark. I'm glad to see you, Sophie. Today has been a crazy day for me. Tell me about it. Oh, I got $1,000 this month in my OnlyFans. Excuse me, what? Didn't I tell you? I have an OnlyFans. How else you think I pay college tuition? Eh, at least you don't play Genshin Impact. How am I gonna buy my 10th purse this week? That's it. I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, well, shit. After Sophie's suicide, we fight Joe Biden in about five years from now, shooting out Joe Biden cubes until we conform to his America. So you better be behind cover when this flabby moves open. We can also just leave and spare it, but my mercy in this game doesn't exist. Smoke is sexy style! Ah! We then loot Sophie's dead body for her credit card like any Romanian does, and proceed to join a CSGO match. But it seems like Simon is playing with no ranks who can't aim for shit. Until they can. You know, I'm kinda bummed out Sophie died, but I know what will cheer me up. Yeah! I love school shootings! Oh, what the fuck is that thing? <sighs> I feel much better. I'm almost home too. Maybe things will be okay you again. Simon proceeds through the subway to single-handedly wipe out tentacle hentai, but oh no, his phone battery was out. To be fair, it had been low for like a fucking hour. Nevertheless, we close the police brutality gap further. <laughs> Get run over, bitch! You know, it's kind of weird, but I feel an odd type of deja vu. Anyway, now equipped with a glowing stick, which is what I was high on while making this video, Simon traverses through the maintenance shaft of the subway while being chased by subway trains that clip through the various iron gates. I told you not invasion, you fatherless child. Look at what you made me do. It's a shame to you make a good kid. Jesus I Christ, he has a Twitter account. Simon gets a key and a new battery so he can use his phone again and make an update on Tumblr. Also, he needs two fuses. This is considered the worst part of Cry here, because it's basically just backtracking. We first backtrack onto the apartment after the FBI raided it, looking for Simon with no sign of him, so they gave up. Now free of the FBI, the entire apartment is flooded with sewage that Simon swings in, acquiring seven different deadly diseases in the process for a ladder. Wait, where the fuck did he put that? Oh. Oh. Oh no. To ease our minds, we get a Silent Hill 2 reference. During the other backtracking section, we encounter Lady Dimitrescu after the events of Resident Evil Village. This is not a sexual thing, this is about power, right? Now with the two fuses, we can explore a new level and get a sledgehammer that I almost used to break my PC when I got stuck on this part of the game the first time I played it. In this nightmare sequence, we parkour through the halls of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria to get padded cell and some liquors in the bag. Another backtracking section later. This one is shorter, thank fuck. We finally fix the subway train and can go home. Man, this was one crazy adventure. Thinking about it now, I've killed a lot of mentally deranged morons. Drain gang fans, Genshin Impact players, and Discord kins. Maybe the world will finally be normal now. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. It's that guy again. This time I'm gonna fling him out of a window. Simon now goes through a section suspiciously similar to the one in Silent Hill 3, fighting Kale and his cult of 10 year olds. At the end of the train, there is a foot that we put in a suitcase to send to the average E621 user, who then breaks the fucking train because the tags aren't descriptive enough. Simon then has to escape the train before it gets consumed into the pits that is Nikakado Avocado's gullet. Simon gets out of the train and embraces his inner caveman to grab a stick and cave in women's skulls with it, and become the storm that is approaching, provoking black hearts in isolation. After that, we make our way into Serbia's best apartment complex. Oh look, a bowling alley. 
Why don't I try to get a strike? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Our compensation for seeing that video is the new gun to end our life with. Except it's empty. This is a joke sicker than hunt down the free men. Come over here so we can talk. I want to talk. The fuck do you want to struggle at night? Come closer. I'm close enough. Come closer. I can't. There's a child predator in the way. Kill yourself. 26 Garden Street. Look, just give me the new gun. Why? I'll give you Prime Gems. I don't play Genshin Impact. I'll give you an Edward Pass. Deal. Simon needs to go to Old Martin's gamer attic from Binding of Isaac. On the way, he fights Cry of Fear fans and somehow pieces together a tablet made out of Play-Doh. We then call Dante from the Devil May Cry series so he can give us the nuclear launch codes. There you are. You're cringe! You're so fucking cringe! Hey what's up guys, Error Doctor here, and today we're having a 1v1 on Rust against the Global Elite because Pernell's aim is more accurate than an inaccurate summary of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This boss fight is probably the worst one you can blind Pernell by catching him thirsting for a miner in 4k. Oh, and it also has the best boss fight music. You know, Pernell, I know I haven't been open to you all this time. I get it. Your job is to help me, so I should make it easier. I really haven't been the same since I got hit by that car. My entire life is spiraling out of control and I don't know how to deal with it. I know the pills by themselves won't make me feel better. I need to do something more than that. Please, doctor, tell me what to do. Sorry, Simon. I wasn't listening. I was getting my fifth mortgage to get XCCI. Never mind. Maybe I should write a book about my feelings. I'm sure that will make me feel better. Hey, Pernell, would it be too much to ask uh, for some LSD prescribed? Oh, uh, you want to get into all kinds of real Simon? Uh, let's say I do. No, Simon. If you kill me, you never know where Steve Jobs is. Who's Steve Jobs? Leg my balls. <laughs> Simon is finally able to leave Air Doctor's official Discord server and does another Silent Hill 2 reference. He then proceeds to beat more women. After a refreshing swim in the sewage, he finally arrives in Kirkwell and goes home. Mom? Mom? Mom, I'm home! Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. She found my anti stash. Oh, fuck, oh shit, what do I do? This can't be real. It's because it isn't, idiot. Wait, what? Yeah, this is all a cope for me. I got hit by a car and decided to write a book about my life while high on LSD. You had LSD all this time and I had to inject lean into my body? You motherfucker, I'll kill you! <laughs> Easy, noob. Hold up, what? Wasn't I shooting myself? Oh, oh no. No. I killed a white person. Oh god! I don't want to go to jail, No.
is one creepy fucking painting. What do you mean, Simon? It's just a picture of two gentlemen who I'm sure have nothing bad in common. 